Hi, welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie Red One. It is a Christmas action adventure comedy film that stars Dwayne Johnson, Chris Evans, and J.K. Simmons. Originally planned for a streaming release on Prime Video last year, it was delayed with the writer strike as the reason. Since then, I guess they decided to have a change of heart and give the movie a full theatrical release. Is that any good? Well, Let's talk about it. The movie story follows after Santa Claus, codenamed Red One, is kidnapped. The North Pole's head of security must team up with the world's most infamous bounty hunter in a globe-trotting, action-packed mission to save Christmas. Uh, just as I expected, this movie was not all that great. I was expecting it to be a terrible movie, and sure enough, it was. Honestly, I don't understand why this movie even got made to begin with. Obviously, this movie has a lot wrong with it, and of course, I'll explain why later. Right now, I want to talk about the only two good things the movie does have, which includes J.K. Simmons himself and the makeup effects. That's it. Obviously, J.K. Simmons is the best thing about the movie. He's a tremendous actor in everything he plays, and I thought he was a... Fantastic addition to bring in as he did a tremendous job as St. Nick. Out of all the actors that could have been picked for the role, J.K. Simmons was perfect for this role. He has a certain charm and adds a layer of warmth for the character that everyone can love. Another thing that I really liked about the movie would have to be the practical makeup effects for Krampus, who is wonderfully played by Game of Thrones actor Christopher Heaview. I'm not a fan of the movie itself, but I will say that I did enjoy the parts that include Krampus. I'm glad that they went with a full body prosthetic piece for the actor to wear, because it looks just absolutely fantastic. I honestly wish they could have done the whole movie with practical effects, because the CGI for everything else just didn't impress me much. To be fair, this does feel like a movie that's meant to be watched on a streaming service for, just for the background noise. There's not much to the movie itself. And it feels like we've seen this same story before because it's just so unoriginal. It borrows a lot of elements from countless other films, and it feels flat out boring at times. I don't think the movie even knows its own target audience. Sure, it's a Christmas film. However, it leans more into espionage and high stuff, something that you would see in the Fast and the Furious movies. I mean, this movie does feel like a crossover fanfic if Fast and the Furious took place in the North Pole. There are some silly childish moments, and at some points, it just takes itself a bit too seriously. Tonally speaking, it's just chaotically all over the place. I mean, the action scenes were just okay, but I just wasn't overly impressed with them. I also wasn't impressed with the film's writing as well. Major plot points could be predictably seen from a mile away. The characters were terribly written as they made some asinine decisions and the dialogue was just flat out awful. I'm also tired of the mismatched duo trope that this movie heavily relies on for its narrative, which doesn't quite work in this movie. I mean, you do have a couple of the biggest action stars in this movie that includes both The Rock and Chris Evans. I like them in other films, but I just absolutely hated their characters in this movie so badly. Both of their acting in this movie is just tiresome and mind-numbingly dull. I mean, The Rock essentially plays the same character in every movie, but Chris Evans has shown off some great acting in previous films, so I don't know what went wrong here. Ultimately, this movie is not their best. With all that said, this movie is unforgivably bad. Overall, Red One is a shameless mishap of a film that belongs on the naughty list. It's embarrassing that it had a budget of $250 million just for it to turn out so bad. It's astounding just how terrible this movie actually is, regardless of your expectations. Even so, the movie isn't a downright total failure, but it's pretty close to it. I give this movie a D. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Keep up my real reviews.